Snipers, you have to see what's happening. The Bitcoin price right now is I wasn't able to get a video out yesterday as I had dinner with Mike Tyson in Miami with Joshua Earp. Thank you, Joshua, for that introduction to Mike Tyson. For those that are on my Instagram, link is in the description below. You guys saw that picture with me, Mike Tyson, and Joshua having dinner last night. But there's a lot to talk about today for Bitcoin snipers. Let's dive straight into the charts and look at what's happening. Understand this, snipers, the DXY is a very important puzzle piece for Bitcoin right now to assume whether we're going to see continued downside. And so far, you can see we are potentially forming a double top here for the DXY. And the exact number for this high is 109.294. Notice how the high that we just tested was 109.27, a bit lower than the exact number of high that we've had, which means that we kind of have a lower high here. And that actually shows weakness. So there's no confirmation yet that the DXY does want to see continuation to the upside. It is walking a tightrope, obviously testing this resistance level right now, but there's a high chance that we could potentially double top here. And so we have to monitor the DXY. It has not broken down just yet, but it is walking a tightrope. And then if we look at Bitcoin against the SPY, you can see just like the DXY also walking a tightrope as it is testing this extremely important support level, but is yet to break, which means that we still have these puzzle pieces as bullish. And until we get a confirmation of whether Bitcoin against SPY wants to see new yearly lows or the DXY wants to see new yearly highs, we have to keep them as bullish puzzle pieces on the table, because as long as we do not see Bitcoin against SPY break down or the DXY continue to break its recent yearly high, then I do not believe there is justification for Bitcoin to come back below 17,600, which is why we are having a pit stop right now at the $21,000 level for Bitcoin. Let's pull up the Bitcoin chart. The reason I started with the DXY and the Bitcoin against SPY chart snipers is because Bitcoin has been range bound here. Some people will call this a bear flag here. Whatever you want to call it so far, it's just a third higher low. And so I think until we get a confirmation of whether or not the DXY wants to continue to break yearly highs, and if the Bitcoin spy chart continues to sell off, then that could potentially result in Bitcoin testing some lower levels. And then, of course, 17,204 is the major support in this range. But until and if that happens, we could still potentially work our way back up inside of this consolidation, because notice how we are sitting at the support of this channel for Bitcoin. And ideally for the day traders, you want to take long positions at support levels and you want to take short positions at resistance levels. If you've done that over the last few weeks, it would have worked out really well for you. If you would have taken a short here when Bitcoin was testing the resistance of this channel, you would have done very well. If you would have longed this support level, you would have done very well. And so we're currently sitting at support level. We haven't gotten a confirmation to break down just yet. And the S&P 500 is still above its 20 week moving average. So that's the third bullish puzzle piece that is still holding strong for Bitcoin. Now, do not get me wrong, snipers. I'm not saying that things are looking great on the charts. The DXY is obviously testing its resistance level right now. And so if it breaks, then that turns into a bearish puzzle piece, but it hasn't done that yet. And so that's why I'm here to tell you snipers that because it hasn't done that yet, there's no reason for us to worry. Oh, look, that's the picture with Mike Tyson and I. I didn't even know who's down there. Look at that. Joshua Earp in the middle with myself and then Mike Tyson in Boca yesterday. But anyways, the S&P 500 is still above its 20 week moving average. That's very positive. And Bitcoin against SPY hasn't continued to form new yearly lows. We're just testing the lows. And so the puzzle pieces are still intact. There's three major bullish puzzle pieces that we've been discussing here over the last few days. They're still intact. We haven't yet seen the DXY break out. And so I'm here to tell you guys that things are still fine for Bitcoin at 21,000 US dollars. Why are we finding support here? That's where the most volume in this consolidation has come in. And so anytime we come below 21,000 US dollars, that's when we're starting to see max pain because now people's average prices are underwater. So 21,000 US dollars is critical for Bitcoin. And then I'll talk about Ethereum as well, snipers, and we'll wrap up this update here. So for Bitcoin right now, if we can start to see some momentum in the smaller time frames, then our major resistance in the immediate short term is going to be 23,795. At any point in time, Bitcoin could climb its way back up this breakdown candle to test this resistance at 23,795. And of course, the major resistance to see 
new highs and a strong move to the upside is going to be 24,300 we have confluence with the previous weekly open the major snipers resistance and now you can see this market structural resistance level is starting to show confluence in this area which is the bear market resistance level that bitcoin has so far rejected twice a resistance level that the s p 500 is currently also testing and rejecting you can see we've yet to break above this bear market resistance level for the S&P 500, but it's above the 20-week moving average. It's already shown more strength than Bitcoin, so nothing to worry about there. And then, of course, if we break 21,000 US dollars for Bitcoin, that breaks all of these major support levels. We break this channel support, and now opens up the door for Bitcoin to test the lows again, potentially form further lows. But until we see the DXY really push up, I'm not going to call any crazy downside targets for Bitcoin. I know the bears tend to get excited a little bit early, but the fact of the matter is we've yet to get confirmation. The DXY could certainly form a double top, a higher high, a lower high, and still calm down to come back to test its 20 week moving average, which it's yet, yet to do all of this year. Ethereum, you can see, may give us a nice early confirmation. If we can get above 1760, that is the major range resistance. The current short term support level is the previous all time high from 2018 at 1440. A break above 1760 opens up the door to 2000 again. And of course, that $2,000 level is a big resistance level for Ethereum, which we've yet to see strength above. And we know that merge is coming up on September 19th. So let's continue to monitor the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, which is more important. Are we going to see continued highs here or are we calming down here? So far, finding resistance at 80,000 Satoshis. Anything could happen for the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart in anticipation of the Ethereum merge on September 19th. Always remember the rule, snipers, buy the hype, sell the news. And so other than that, NASDAQ up over 1% today. That's very good to see. Euro against USD. This is an interesting chart, snipers. Remember, the Euro to USD chart is inversely correlated with Bitcoin. So usually when we start to see, or it's inversely correlated with the DXY. Uh, so when we see the Euro to USD bottom out and start a reversal, it's usually the bottom for Bitcoin. You can see we form new lows here for euro against USD, but we're testing this major support level. This is a market structural support level that dates back all the way beyond 2017. You can see all the way to 2015. There's this macro structural support level for the euro to USD. What we'd like to see for the bulls is for euro against USD to start a reversal to the upside, just like in the end of 2018 or at the start of 2018. 18 and the end of 2017, we had a bull market. That's when the euro USD reversed, and that was also what started the Bitcoin bull market. So we'll continue to monitor euro USD, but nothing crazy just yet. It did form that low just now, a lower low. So Bitcoin against SPY will continue to monitor across the board. Not much going on in international markets, it looks like. And equity markets are pretty much up today, about a percent or so for most of these equities on my watch list. And so we'll continue to monitor Bitcoin snipers. Very interesting to see Bitcoin here holding 21,000 US dollars. It looks like it's waiting on the DXY and it's waiting on the Bitcoin against SPY chart to really make a decision. DXY yet to break out, but we'll continue to monitor. I appreciate each and every one of you snipers tuned into the channel. Dinner with Mike Tyson was amazing. He loves the cryptocurrency Web3 world. And that's actually what we were meeting about with some other big hitters. So uh, maybe I'll tell you guys more about that on my Instagram. Link is in the description below. But until next time, snipers, I'll see you guys later. Snipers, out.